The year is 1988 and on this April night near Tunisia an operation is underway by a group of elite commandos from Israel. That night a cargo ship approaches the coast staying inside the normal shipping lanes on the Mediterranean Sea. But hidden in the cargo are helicopters along with the pilots and 26 members of the elite forces of Israel, the Shai 8A-13 and Seire Matkal. The helicopters launch off the ship and approach a remote beach outside of Tunis. The darkness and the remote area cover their approach. They land and are met by several Mossad agents. The Mossad is the Israeli intelligence service, similar in their operations to the US CIA. The men dressed in civilian clothing ride into Tunis and stage for the next part of the operation. Two men from this combined unit walk on a Tuna street, one dressed as a woman. The two operators approach their target house, this is the home to a PLO, Palestine Liberation Army, leader Abu Jihad. The team stages as the two operators approaches the home. They then enter the home's front courtyard and in front of the home is a bodyguard for Abu Jihad, he is dispatched with a shot to the head. Now the other operators storm into the home and find their target in a study. Abu Jihad is shot repeatedly in front of his wife and daughter. Another fatality is a gardener who may have been mistaken for another bodyguard. This operation is done within minutes and the men take off in the night in several vehicles back to the waiting helicopters. Without the Tunisian responding police knowing, the men and helicopters are back onto the cargo ship. The helicopters are hidden along with the operators and the ship continues back to Israel the world unaware of the mission that just took place. This is just one example of the kind of missions the Israeli Special Operations Forces have carried out. With the current attack on October 7, 2023, these IDF Special Forces are now taking the fight to Hamas and other organizations threatening the safety of Israel. The roles these units play will be critical to the ensuing war that is following this terrible day. Shai 8A-13 The Shai 8A-13 is also known as Flotilla 13 and nicknamed the Bats. This unit operates as the Israeli Navy's equivalent to the US Navy SEALs. Operations for this unit include incursions into land from the sea, parachuting into enemy territory along with sabotage, intelligence gathering, reconnaissance and counter-terrorism. This unit is also highly trained in close quarter combat and hostage rescue. The Shai 8A-13 in the battle with Hamas currently have been tasked with maritime operations and will be needed for hostage rescues into Gaza from the sea. They have already performed at least one operation taking back control of an IDF outpost and rescuing 250 hostages held there, according to IDF sources. This unit will also play a vital role in intelligence gathering alongside Mossad. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This will help the channel grow and make content for you. Duv Devon The Duv Devon unit is a highly secret unit with operations that have spanned years. This unit's specialty is counter-terrorism that not only acts overtly but its major operations are carried out by covert units and individuals. This unit blends into the population often posing as normal people within the Arab-held cities. Often seen briefly this unit has been responsible for many arrests and assassinations of key terrorist players. The unit will be an invaluable resource for the operations against Hamas. The operators will infiltrate the Gaza and West Bank areas providing intelligence and targets for the ongoing war. 
This unit has years of experience and their operators mostly working undercover will move the IDF to targets of opportunity. With the skill of this unit, the IDF will have experienced operators to gather intelligence and assist in hostage rescues. Akets Akets is the IDF's K-9 Special Forces unit. They use specially trained dogs for various tasks, including explosive detection, search and rescue, and counter-terrorism operations. The unit works by combining themselves with conventional and special operations forces of the IDF. It's important to note that while the Akets unit can be a valuable asset in military operations, they are also subject to strict rules of engagement. The use is typically governed by ethical guidelines to minimize harm to civilians and non-combatants. This unit will play a vital role in the war with Hamas. Operating in an offensive role will be crucial in urban combat. The specially trained canines will help with seeking out explosives and to neutralize or capture terrorists. These units along with the other Israeli special operations forces will be vital in the war against Hamas and other terrorist organizations. After the attacks on October 7, 2023, the elite forces of Israel will once again meet the challenges in this ongoing war.